about something. So I'm trying to be good. This year, I am starting, not starting, I'm continuing my healthy wellness journey. I'm always on a journey. I'm always, I just don't talk about it. I never stopped. I never stopped. I just stopped making videos about it. <laughs> because I would fail and then I would be like, it was just too much accountability, okay? Like I have not stopped. I haven't stopped taking supplements, but I did start doing my all my supplements, like the fenugreek, the prenatal, fenugreek and prenatals, bro, that's really all you need. And then um, that homemade rosemary oil that I make, and grease, that is the biggest thing that I've changed in recent years. Like, I don't care really about what shampoo or conditioner I use as long as it's moisturizing, it doesn't strip my hair, right? I don't even care if it's, if it's sulfate free, I really don't. I really don't, not anymore. Like you saw in the beginning of this video, I am going to be doing a tutorial review for this beautiful wig that I got from the doula hair, right? I gotta show y'all the bag, cause it's the fire, all right? I love this bag, I love it. Every single time I work with the doula hair, they send me this outrageous bag, and I try to think, it's just too pretty to just sit in my closet, right? So the last bag I gave to Bella, I think I have a couple in my closet, but what can I do with this bag? I love it so much. It's so fun. Like I feel like this is the kind of bag that Shephora should give you as soon as you walk into the store. You know what I mean? To put your makeup in. Anyway, so here is the satin dust bag that you put your wig in for storage after you're done. And here's what my wig came in. So let me show you what came in my box. So when I get a hunk of time to be able to go back on my videos and like go under comments and try to answer people's questions, you know, and try not to abandon folks because I ask everybody to comment all the time and I can't, I don't always get the time to respond, but when I do, I respond to everybody, right? And then there was one comment on one of my videos, like, I want to say like four, maybe four or five months ago. It was a video that I had done where I had my natural hair out and had blow dried it and like kind of semi straightened it. And they were like, I miss your natural hair videos. So here's what I got in my bag. They sent me some accessories to assist in the installation of this wig. And some just for funsies. They sent me a wig cap, which I am going to use. I don't even know if I should do, I didn't do the ball cap method. I just got my hair um, under here under two Sealy braids. I got some fun nails and an elastic band for laying down the edges. They also included some invisible tape because this wig that I'm showing you can be worn glueless. So you have the option of using the elastic strap. I love this sound. Can you hear that? It's got this silicone anti-slip material on it and it also comes with the invisible tape inside the air flap. So since we're going to use these as we install the wig, I just want to stress, I cannot stress this enough, please don't get that tape in your hair. Make sure that tape is only touching your skin, okay? I'm trying to help you. So here is the wig in question. She is a beauty. One day, one day, one day. So anyway, like I was saying before about the whole natural thing, I never stopped my natural hair journey. I just didn't talk about it as much. And um, I am taking good care of my hair. I have been using grease. I, yes ma'am, yes I am. And it's all messed up and it's got hairs all in it. This is the Indian hemp. I went and got me some Vitapoint from the Dagon Beauty Supply Store and squeezed half of it in there, mixed it up like I was making concoctions. You know, we was kitchen beauticians back when the natural hair movement first started, right? I got some sulfur. I'm not using that sulfur grease. No. I got too many flashbacks. It's my Vietnam. So let me show you the inside of the cap. And as you can see, there are no combs in the front, y'all. Ain't no combs on the side. But there is one on the back at your nape, and then it has the adjustable straps, and then it has this non-slip grip right here, but on the sides is where you would install that elastic band. And I got a quick method for you, if you're not quite sure about um, how to install this bad boy, because if it's too tight, you're not gonna know immediately. You're not gonna know. It will reveal itself, though, in an hour or two, when you have the headache. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your elastic band, you're gonna adjust it until it touches both temples comfortably, because we don't want no crazy headaches, right? Then you're gonna hook it back into your wig. So I've gone ahead and done that. I put the elastic band in there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put her on now. Yes, queen. So if you've adjusted everything right, it should fit snugly and flush on your head. So you can see the invisible tape is right here on the ear flap, dangerously close to this hairline. And we're not trying to have any hair get caught up in some tape. So when I hear this, I'm going to make sure that I am clear, okay? It's gonna be on my cheekbone probably, but it's not gonna be in my hair, amen? So I noticed on the packaging, it says that this is transparent lace. She's about 24 inches, but y'all gonna see that when I stand up. To make this lace blend in more seamlessly with your skin tone, you can use anything you want. You can use foundations. I like to use these Even New York products because this light warm brown is perfect for blending into my skin tone. And I like using this mousse when I'm trying to lay the edges down. And I like using this powder afterwards to try to get rid of any shininess. You know how sometimes, if you, whatever adhesive you use, sometimes there can be like a sheen. This kills the sheen, so. I like to use both of them in tandem, okay? My version of glueless is I might use a little bit of gel or I might use a spray like this adhesive from um, Even. Even y'all need to sponsor me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the installation. I'm gonna clean up my hairline um, and then I'm going to install the wig. I'm going to engage these invisible ear flap. Take, wait. I'm going to engage this invisible tape on my ear flaps. And then once my edges are dry, because I am gonna be using this, bleh. I am gonna be using this mousse because it tends to lace perfectly to my skin tone. And then I'll be back. You want it? Did you forget that code? Why is our love it one-sided? It should really be given take. 
fill you up and leave me empty Baby, was that my mistake? Covering these feelings Going through changes I'm just so mad right now I can't even think straight So I'ma just My arm's about to fall off So I'm spraying some pink oysters Pink oysters? I'm putting some glosser on and I'm gonna go ahead and separate these curls. They're a little crunchy because I use the old school pump it up. But that's okay because when you are working with yakky texture hair, especially this yakky straight, um, you need a lot of heat. And you wanna make sure those curls last because you didn't create hair for nothing. Y'all, this is why yakky straight will always be my favorite texture to work with. Look how pretty them long curls came out. Y'all, if y'all knew the bloopers and outtakes I have done, it was a struggle to get through. Let me tell you why, hold on. So this is what happened. I've been drinking this, a Mio Energy, right? Because I get kind of sluggish. And I said, I'm going to drink something because I, I can't really do caffeine. But I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead. This is like an energy shot, right? I use meals, I use them all the time. It's how I get wonderful flavored waters without ingesting thousands of calories, right? Because I'm also on a weight loss journey, okay? This journey's all around, journey's for everybody. The amount of meal that I put in a cup of water for it to taste good for me is way too much, okay? I'm one of those people that has two cups of sugar and one cup Kool-Aid. It's just, I can't, right? That's why I even went to meal in the first place. This stuff, Green Thunder, okay? I got it, it looked like a Gatorade. I was like, ooh, energy drink. It is 60 milligrams of caffeine per squirt. And I mean, what is a squirt? You just squeeze it in and then that's enough. No, I don't do that. I squeeze, so I'm, I'm, I put too much caffeine in my, in my water. I'll be up until two o'clock in the morning. Anyway, like I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. All the information about this hair from the doula will be in the description box below. And please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will get back to you as soon as this exam is over. Pray for me. All right, I love you guys.